Okay, uh, continuing this tutorial, I'm almost done, but uh, I'm limited on time on YouTube. Uh, so, uh, where we were, I just added this alpha overlay, and we have uh, this video of me connecting to the view here. We're going to grab that, put it here, and then the scene, we're going to grab that, put it here, and then we'll connect the output of that to both our viewer and our composite uh, window here. If I make this, if I control up with the mouse over that, you can see this whole window. And I can minimize these now. And you can see what it looks like. It's looking pretty good as a still shot rendered there. But you'll see a little bit of a blue border around the edge there. There's a few different ways to get rid of that. In this case, the simplest way will go under Material and then our World button here and change the world color to black. And then uh, next time that renders out, which uh, if I actually go to my render window here, we have to do, click Do Composite or else it will only render the 3D view. We'll click Render here and there we go. Uh, so at this point you can add, uh, you can choose what format you want to put it in. I usually choose FFmpeg uh, and then choose uh, either DV or an MPEG-2 or an MPEG-4 or FLV if you want. Uh, and in this case, doing that will render out the video. Uh, I've also mentioned in previous videos that currently, if you're using Ubuntu Jaunty or something based on that, uh, their Blender in the repositories has a glitch in it. If you try to export f using FFmpeg, uh, it will crash Blender. Just go to the Blender website, download the newest version, which currently is 2.49, where uh, in the repositories it's 2.48, completely fixes that problem. Uh, but as I was saying, this will render the video, there's no audio. The way you can fix that is once you render out the video here, you can come up here, and you can use any video editor, but might as well use Blender since we're in that. And what you'll do is you'll import the movie that you rendered out, and then you can import the audio from the original video of you talking, or in this case, me talking, or whoever. So we'll go back here to model. So this is where we're working. And once you do that, make sure you have your keyframes set up right. So let's see, last frame looks like everything's working out right. Uh, and I already have rendered this out. I think if I press play, it will play what? Nope, it didn't. So. Uh, at this point, you'll just hit render or animate, and you'll see your video, then black video, then black video, then black. That's it, rendering the video of you, and then rendering the 3D view, which currently is black because the cube is off to the side. Uh, once I reach off to the side here, you'll see the cube start to come in. And it's rendering about, at this point, a frame a second. The more you have going on, the longer it will take. Um, we have 274 frames to render, uh, but you'll see as the... Uh, cube comes into play. Slightly it will slow down, but if you have a bunch of stuff superimposing it will slow down uh, greatly. Uh, there are options over here that you can change that will lower the quality of the video, but uh, make it render faster, and sometimes you don't need all these things. So there we go. And uh, check out Linux Journal Tech Tips to see the uh, final cut of this video. Uh, just check back previous weeks. Uh, Sean has used my video twice. Thank you, Sean. So uh, for more video tutorials like this, which I hope you enjoyed, visit filmsbychris.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.